another Secrets Revealed episode. Here today we are in the north of France in Brittany at Karnak. Especially right now in the alignment of Karnak which holds the biggest amount of standing stones as you can see. standing stones. As you can see it's made of granite which shows how much work they had to put in to take it out and then move it into the alignment. Then also there's only like about 10 or 15 percent of the standing stone on underground which makes it somehow stand up. Now it's time for us to go through the rest of the documentary. I hope you like it and I hope you also like following me on this epic adventure. Then higher at the back. Here now we are at three stones that I would like to show you. And I call those three the castle and the guard because, as you can see, the two big stones make it look like as if they are the two entrance towers of the castle. And then the smaller one looks like it is as if it's the castle's guard. Here now we are at the 
alignment I was talking about earlier of Rock Mario Care. And here is the tallest standing stone in the whole of Europe. Now it is all it is all crashed down into four pieces, but there is two major hypotheses for its collapse. One of them is that it was intentional and that they pulled it down. The other, which, which is a major one, it is that it fell down during a earthquake. Now here in the third place is what the stunning stone I was talking about earlier in the Table des Marchands, which was in the, do the dolmen we were in just a few seconds ago. Here now, we are on another good dolmen example. So I forgot to tell you earlier that a, a dolmen that is covered is called in Breton Care. And so it means that the dolmen is covered. Now let's get inside. We are at the Tumulus Saint-Michel, which is a tomb with, on top of it, an artificial hill. Do you see just here this white chapel? Well, right under it is this artificial hill I was talking about. Plus, it is the very first giant tomb in the whole entire world. It is made of three major layers, rocks, then a layer of wet sand, which is hardened so that it can keep away water, especially rainwater. Then again, some rocks, then finally a hole where there is a body buried with other things. Here now, we are at the foot of the Tumulus Saint-Michel. And here, right behind me, there is a door. And this door leads into the hole that I talked to you about. But this door and the tunnel leading into it, into the hole, is not prehistoric. It was made by a man who was an archaeologist called Zachary Le Rousic. And the only reason why they made a tunnel is because this hole, you could not come back in after it was buried. This hole was held together with a box of rocks. This was made of multiple standing stones put together in a ring and then sandwiched with two other bigger stones. 
Then this created the hole where they buried probably a very important person and buried with it were polished axes. Some of them were made with semi-precious stones and this stone was the jade. And with the polished axes there are some beads made of varicite and with it also some pendulum drops. And when they found it, even though it was spread out around the tomb, they thought it was a necklace. Now here, under my feet, there is this hole I talked to you about earlier. Now, this artificial hill was not made for anything. Behind me, you can see the sea. And the, when this hill was made, it was land. So, that means it could be seen from there. And back here is the same. Over there, between those trees, there is the alignment. And because back then there was no trees, you could see, see this monument from the alignments themselves and even further. And this is where my documentary ends. I hope you liked it. And I hope I can see you soon in our next Secrets Revealed documentary.